If you'd like to learn how to set up the Wi-Fi connection on your Romeo or Juliet professional cutting system, well then this video is for you. To start, make sure that your PC or Mac is connected to the desired network in your home, office, or wherever you use your machine. On the cutter's user interface, from the home screen, select the settings option, then select Wi-Fi. This will be the screen that we use to connect to the network. Next, select the scan option on the Wi-Fi main menu, and this will scan the area for local network connections. So once you have found yours, simply hit apply. After you have successfully typed in your network password, you will then see a series of numbers above the network name. This is called an IP address. This number is usually separated by a series of numbers with a period in between them. We will need this number for the last step in the process. Inside Leonardo Design Studio, navigate to the Send Design menu and then select the gear icon next to the Send to Cutter button. Once selected, this will display a pop-up screen with two options, USB and Wi-Fi. And in this case, we will select Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi connection menu also provides a walkthrough of where to find the IP address and other essential information covered by this video. And finally, navigate to the last page of this menu by clicking on the right arrow, and on the last screen you will see a box where you can input the IP address mentioned earlier. Be sure to type in the IP address exactly how it is displayed on the user interface of a Romeo or Juliet, and then select the arrow located to the right of the text box. If you get a positive connection, then this pop-up screen will go away, indicating that the cutter found the network. If this does not happen, then there are just a couple of simple troubleshooting options available. At the most basic level, when your cutter is not connecting properly via Wi-Fi, one of the easiest tests are to check the network name to ensure that your device and cutter are connected to the same destination. This is a commonly overlooked step, but an easy fix nonetheless. One of the most common issues you will run into is simply not putting in the correct IP address. As stated above, this must be an exact match of what you see on the cutter's user interface. Make sure that if your IP address is labeled as shown that you are typing this number into your Wi-Fi menu. When your cutter is left idle for a while, the network tends to lose connection as it will drop idle devices sometimes to reserve data for other devices in use. To fix this, simply turn off your cutter and turn it back on again, then try to reconnect. Understanding what gigahertz means will help to explain this common occurrence. Gigahertz, when referring to a network connection, is the frequency of the Wi-Fi signal to your network. Now some modern devices will process 5 gigahertz connections, whereas more common, the traditional frequency is 2.4. Now most devices that operate on a 5 gigahertz connection can also drop down to a 2.4 connection. Now the Romeo and Juliet both use a 2.4 gigahertz connection, so if you have done all the troubleshooting listed in this video and you're still not getting a positive connection, check your home network router to ensure that it has 2.4 gigahertz band enabled. And there you have it. We now have taught you one of the most common issues with Romeo and Juliet when it comes to connecting your device. We hope that this worked out. And as always, if you're still having problems connecting your home network to your Romeo or Juliet professional cutting system, you can always reach out to us at support at caesarna.com. And until next time, bye everyone.